Hello everyone, welcome back to Waply Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send Facebook messages to Telegram. Let's suppose I'm having an event management company and to promote that, I'm also running a Facebook page. And now I want that as soon as a new message will be received on my Facebook page, automatically that same message should be sent to my team members on my Telegram channel. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to build a connection between these two applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of an amazing automation software Pabli Connect. Now here we have Facebook Messenger in our trigger and Telegram in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically send Facebook messages on Telegram channel. So let's suppose I'm having a Facebook page named as Sparkle Evenings, which I'm running on my Facebook account for my event management company. And now I want that as soon as I'm going to receive a new message on this particular page, I want to send that same message to my team members on my Telegram channel. Okay, now for creating this automation, we are going to set up a connection between Facebook Messenger and Telegram. And that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this automation software, Pabli connect so this is the home page of Fably connect where we can reach directly by tapping this url once we will reach here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have two folders here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send Facebook message to Telegram channel. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. Now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the two principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happened and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take Facebook Messenger in our trigger and telegram in our action and we want that as soon as a new message will be received on our Facebook page, automatically that message should be sent on our Telegram channel. Okay, here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the Facebook message is received, then only the message is sent on Telegram channel, otherwise not. Okay, now after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Facebook Messenger. So let's select it. The next is the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here we will select new message sent to page as our trigger event. As we want that as soon as a new message will be received on our Facebook page, the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. Let's click on connect. And now we have to select add new connection to build a new connection with Facebook Messenger account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. We are going to click on this connect with Facebook Messenger. And with this, we can find that our authorization has become successful very easily. Now, my Facebook Messenger is successfully connected with Pabli Connect, so we will move further. Here, we need to select the Facebook page on which we want the message. So, I'm going to take you towards my Facebook account, and this is the Facebook page named as Sparkle Evenings. I want that whenever the message will be received on this page, then the response should be captured in Pabli Connect. So, here I'm going to select Sparkle Evenings page, okay? And now we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request button. As we have done that, it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission by sending a message on this particular page so that the response of that message will be captured here in Pabli Connect. And for doing that, I'm going to send a message on this particular page from a new account. So I've opened a new Facebook account and I've opened this particular page, Sparkle Evenings. I'm going to send a message on it. So here my message will be, Hello, may I please know about your services and rates? So this is a message which I want to send. So let me click on enter. And as soon as we have sent the message, let's go back towards Pabli Connect. And here we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details along with the name of the person who has sent the message. 
name is Devin Parker along with other IDs as well as the message itself. Hello, may I please know about the services and rates? Okay, this means that we have successfully built a connection between Facebook Messenger as well as Babli Connect. So whenever a new message will be received on our Facebook page, the response of that message will be automatically captured here in Babli Connect. Now I want to send the same message on my Telegram community. For that, let's move towards our action step and we will select our action application as Telegram Bot. So basically, we are going to set up a bot over here for sending automated message on our Telegram channel. Let's select the action event that will be send a text message or reply. Let's click on connect. Because I want to create a new connection with my Telegram bot account, I'm going to select this add new connection button. And here we need to provide the token. From where we are going to find the token, for that the instructions are provided to us here very clearly. We just have to go towards our Telegram account. And here we need to search for bot father. Now here after coming on bot father, we have to send a message that is new bot. Let us send this message. And as soon as we have done that, we have received a reply. All right, a new bot. How we are going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So here we are going to give the name to our bot. Let's say Facebook message. This will be the name of my bot. And it is saying good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. So the username should end with underscore bot. So here I'm going to give the name as Facebook message underscore bot. Let me send the message. Okay, so the username is invalid. Let us again give a name. Facebook message underscore bot. Done. Congratulations on your new bot. So the name is selected and the bot is created. And here is the token. That is the API key which we have to paste in Pabli Connect. And we will paste it here in this field. Okay. In the same manner, you have to find your token. And now we will click on save. As we have done that, we can find that our Telegram bot is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So now we will move further. Here it is asking us the chat ID on which chat you want to send the message. Chat means the Telegram channel. So I'm going to create a new channel in front of you. So here I'm going to create a new group. Okay, new group. And now we need to add the bot which we have recently created on this particular group. So this is my bot Facebook message. I'm going to select it and I'm going to add it. Okay, so the bot is added. Now we are going to give the name of the group. Facebook messages for the paid sparkle evenings. So this will be the name of my bot. So here the group is created. Now I'm going to take you towards the group members and we have two members over here. First member is me that is the owner of the group and the second is our bot Facebook message. Now in order to set up a bot for sending automated message on this particular group, we first have to give the admin access to our bot and that can be done with the help of Telegram mobile application. So let me give the admin access to this particular bot. So I have provided the access to my bot and here we can find that it is showing admin. Okay. Now let's move towards Pabli Connect once again and here we need to provide the chat ID. So from where we are going to find the chat ID for that once again we have to go towards our telegram group and we can find that on the URL of this group this is the chat ID. So let us just copy it and we are going to paste it here in this field. Okay. Done. So this is our chat ID. We are going to send the message on this particular chat. That means this particular group. Okay. The next is the text message. What message you want to send on your group. Now here my objective is to send the message which I have already received from my Facebook page to my team members on Telegram group. So here my message will be. So this is the message. Hello team. Here is a new message for our Facebook page Sparkle Evenings. The message is sender's name. Check this. Now here I'm going to enter the message which we have already received from Facebook. And for doing that we are going to simply map that in. Now here I'm going to enter the message and we have already received the message and other details from our Facebook response. We will simply map the data over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. So we want to map the text message. Let us select it and it will be mapped. Okay. Hello, may I please know about your service and rates? The next is the sender name. Who has sent this message? Devin Parker. The name is given. So let us select it and it will be mapped. Now when we have mapped this data, it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response. So now whenever we are going to receive a new response from Facebook page, a new message from Facebook page, automatically these two details are going to be replaced without any manual efforts in this field. But the data which we have entered manually is going to be same each time. Okay. So therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we have used mapping over here. Now let us move further and we will simply click on save and send test request button. And we can find that here we have received a response. In the response, we have also received the message ID. This means that a message is sent on our Telegram group. Let's go and check. And yes, here we can find that the message is received. The bot name is Facebook message. Hello team. Here is a new message for our Facebook page, Sparkle Evenings. The message is, hello, may I please know about your services and rate? Sender's name is Devin Parker. Check this. Okay. This means that our workflow is perfectly successful. And we have successfully built a connection between Facebook Messenger and Telegram. 
Now, whenever a new message will be received on our Facebook page, automatically that same message will be sent on our Telegram group. Okay, so let us check this workflow once again. Here I am going to send another message on my Facebook page named as Sparkle Evenings from the user's ID. Let's say, hello, please reply as early as possible. Now, let me send the message. And as soon as we have sent the message, let's go and check on Telegram. And here we can find that automatically without any manual efforts within seconds, the message is received. Another message. Hello team, here is another new message for Facebook page, Sparkle Evenings. The message is, hello, please reply as early as possible. And the sender's name is Devin Parker. Check this. Okay, so this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards Pavli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Facebook Messenger and in action, we have taken Telegram bot. And we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new message will be received on our Facebook page, automatically that same message will be sent without any manual efforts on our Telegram group with the help of Telegram bot. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.